Hello everyone, welcome to Bargain Gaming, where we can play excellent games without busting our wallets. This is episode 391 of Mountain Blade Warband, and currently we are in the town of Nara. And let's all visit our tannery. Remember we wanted to compare how much is the top line for uh, for our goods here, Leatherworks. Oh, 648 in tier, it's actually better here, 681 here. So if we acquire, since we are the ones acquiring most of the hides for uh, our tannery, so uh, apparently it's best to give it to them because uh, 648 against 681, we're talking about 333 dinars more per pile of rug, uh, pile of, no, per pile of, Oh, hold on, hold on. Per pile of hides. So did we pick up any hides? Yes. We did. Okay. Uh, but again, Tyr is still a good place. So Sargoth, uh, based on our returns, so far, Rivacheg is the best for... Uh, what do you call this? For... Uh, for... Best return uh, based on uh, Weavery and Dye Works. The issue with this game is that they actually is pretty uh, realistic in the sense that um, if there are more Weavery and Dye Works, if there's more than one, uh, the profits affects the whole realm. Uh, so if there are more ale houses, there are more milling houses, more windery, so it affects, it depresses the price for everywhere in the whole of Calradia, which makes a lot of sense, right? So which is actually pretty realistic. So I I like the the uh, that realist realism aspect of the game. So right now we have a ton of. Uh, grains which I picked up uh, in the villages we have been to and I was thinking uh, we should go through the uh, what do you call this we have uh, another so we have currently right now we, there are four weaveries in the entire Calradia right well, one we have in Riva Chag the number two is in Oxhall number three I think is in uh, Ikamur and then number four, I think, is in Amirad. So Amirad and Ikamor are pretty close to each other. One is, yeah, Sultanate. One is in the uh, Kyrgyz Khanate. Uh, and when we have currently three tanneries, so one is here in Nara, which is the most profitable. And then the second one uh, is in Tyr, which is not too bad. And then the one in uh, Kudan. Kudan cannot source enough good... So I have not checked what the top line is for Kudan. Maybe next time we go through, that would be a good thing to do. Check up on their place. But right now, uh, what we're still waiting for a month to uh, go by, or to early part of next year before we go to war with, uh, or declare our war with, uh, with the Kyrgyz Khanate. Although I'm really having a lot of fun uh, actually uh, going through uh the co commerce side so uh i'm trying to get uh although we have visited most of the towns throughout the game i don't really remember a lot oh this is ooh steel so we can actually there is some areas where we can source good steel oh oh and how much is wow Okay, we're maxed out. Okay, uh, hold on. Can we sell fish? Wow. Okay, we can sell fish. So we can get one more grain. Again, we're maxed out in terms of items. So, like, we, we just picked up steel at 168. Uh, that's still not too bad if we can give it to Praven. Uh, the, the travel time is enormous though so we can go through here come out here and then go through uh the sirenid sultanate area so let's come to zagush so i'm trying to remember what our party is oh ooh. oh sorry about that i think 
let's come over here so that we can just drop off the prisoners we have. I forgot that uh, we're carrying those guys around. So is there somebody in the tavern? Oh yeah, there is a ransom broker. Fantastic. Uh, let's sell the forest bandits. Uh, the desert bandits. And then let's go to our garrison. Oh, so we have so we're we're actually currently making more money now. We are at two million two hundred forty-eight thousand. It was two two three before. It's now two two four. About to go to two two five. So we have been making money in terms of, in other words, the effort we have been putting in trying to uh, bring uh, goods or raw materials to our shops has actually produced uh, more income to offset the um, collection losses we have been experiencing so that's to the good so I've, apparently it works so uh, and also by uh, destroying the what do you call this the bandit uh, encampments or strongholds that we come across it also improves the region's uh, trade and therefore the taxes and uh, tariffs that they collect on the towns so it's actually good so we have it makes sense then us uh, us the ruler of our domain for us to go out there and clear these things out so and then of course Wow, we have three, four hundred fifty-four Swedish knights and three. Okay, we have more than enough. Uh, so we can sell all of these guys. You know, I, I work. I was keeping all of these prisoners uh, with us so that if we build up enough of them, we can actually just use them and uh, recruit them when we need to. But right now, we don't need to recruit more people. So what I'm trying to do is, I'm going to sell all of them. Because, yeah, we don't... In fact, we there, there should be a time when we start to divest more most of the uh, garrisons that we have picked up. Uh, I just want to have enough... I'm just keeping what we have right now because we will be staffing up the, uh, the garrisons of Ikamore and... Tulga very soon. We will be as soon as after we've taken them over. So two two four. Yeah, I remember and four is is like a ten thousand increase from two two three. So hopefully we will be hitting two two five very soon. Yeah, we hit 225. And so I think the next area, area we want to clear out would be the Sultanate area, uh, close to where Amirad is. Although we don't own Amirad and Barie anymore, uh, it still makes sense for us to clear up those areas. So our, what do you call this, our vassals would have a better time of it. I'm just surprised, wow, there's still a lot of people here.
you know what I we, I should not do this uh, hold on okay let me sell these guys and then let's proceed with the game and I'll just do this on my own time uh, it's taking too much time sorry um, yeah now that we have these guys let's just sell them Okay, uh, we're continuing to do our trading. So let's go visit towns, uh, villages. And right now, I'm trying to see if we can pick up... If we can pick up more raw silk. Ouch, uh, we cannot. Uh, flax bundle should be able to yield us... Well, wow, why do these guys eat fish in such a weird manner? You know, meaning, uh, I don't understand why. How about let's sell some of our bread. Okay. And so, if we go straight down to... Uh, they're Cuba, we have, right, we can come straight down here and we can ditch all the um, the grains we picked up because the Dark Cuba is a, uh, what do you call this, uh, it's a, a bakery, our bakery down there, so it will need a lot of grain. And then I think Barrie is also, uh, maybe in Barrie is our, I think, brewery. So the brewery will also need, let's check, uh, where do we have Tannery, Press, Suno, Jakala, Pravan, Ravadin, uh, Halmar, Yellen, Yellen, Brewery in Yellen. So they need, uh, grains so we have a, actually uh their cuba has a brewery amrad is dye works uh what about their cuba did we give up their, their cuba sargoth tier suno jakala uh, i thought their cuba ribacheg halmar dirim nara shariz yeah, we have a brewery also in their Cuba, so it also needs grains. So I have invested too many in, in brewery, and that's why, maybe that's the reason why, like, we're only making 182 out of uh, their Cuba. Huh. Dush bigger. Uh, hmm. I'm just trying to see if we can stumble across a village that is selling raw silk. Uh, tell him some noyan. Okay, he wants... Okay, we'll be off with you then. We can check Bulugar. Oil. No, that's too expensive. Okay, let's leave. Uh, I'll say let's call it come to Dugan. And they intention apparently they intended blocked off this area so we couldn't get in there. But how come these guys can can uh, like that? That's uh. Yeah, that, those guys over here. We cannot... Or hit a... Mo see, these guys. Who are these guys? Well, let's see if we can get them. 
what are they? Uh, deserters, they are uh, Kurgit skirmishers. Okay, charge. Wow. Okay, let's get up to high country ASAP. Oops. Wow, they're coming from high ground to attack us. Skirmishers. Oh, actually they're they're on horses. Yeah, this is bad uh, terrain for us. Okay, that's over. <laughs> we never got a chance to fight. Capture all. See, this, these guys would have been great additions to Kurgit Horseman, Kurgit Lancer. These are high value guys, see? Yeah, we are not, uh, yeah, we're not getting these guys. And of course, we are out of, uh, wow, all these loot we cannot take. Step horse. Uh, javelins. Forget it. We we're not getting any. Uh, those would be about I would say about 300, 300 dinars, which we just threw away. Ooh. Wow, eighty-five bucks for bread. Might as well sell the bread. Fish is still at 43. Yeah, we'll sell that. We'll sell the flax also. Veggies. So we don't have... Do we have anything else? How about fruits? No. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, we, I wish we had come to town, uh, to this village first before attacking those guys, and then we would have at least room for, uh, three of the loot, and, <laughs> uh, man, I wasn't planning ahead of time, so, uh, that wasn't very smart, okay. No, 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 uh, yeah, let me think of something else. Yeah, let's get this back. I think they cannot afford it. They can't afford anything. Okay, they can't afford anything. Okay. Whew.
Okay, dawn of a new day. Let us save this. Yes, we want to buy these. Uh, they have 267 gold. Okay, we can sell that. Sell that, and then we'll buy these. No, we're out of, we're out of, we're out of space. Uh. What else can we sell them? Some more of these half eaten half eaten fish. But half eaten cheese. <laughs> okay. Uh let's leave. Yeah, we need those and we will bring them to Durham or Oxhall, which will actually we have a better price for them. Two sixty nine forty three cheese is hundred twenty. Yes, we will buy we'll sell another half eaten fish. See cheeses are expensive here. Okay, so now if I can only remember that this is, would be the place to sell fish and cheese. This is a good that's also a good uh bargain. Uh the dates I mean to buy it who's this guy deserters wow grain yeah, we can sell grain here and we'll pick up uh, the two dice. So in the process, uh, the village is also making more money. And uh, I think I, we might have a uh, brewery here in Barie. Ooh, 32. And salt is cheap here. Look at the dates. They're also cheap. So, uh, but if we sell more of the grains, Two, three, and four. We can buy these. One, two, three, and four. Leave. I can't remember what we have. What kind of industry we have in Barrier? Uh Oh, we don't have one. Uh, let's go to market. Let's find out what they have. What they... Ooh, lots of salt, huh? 102... Ooh, high... No, that's expensive. Ooh, that is cheap. Okay, um... Hmm... What can we sell here that they might want? Okay, defi definitely the smoked fish in exchange for that one. Tools, uh, salt is also cheap. Uh, what time is it? Uh, go to the castle. Uh, Lord Turigor. 
let's see what time of the day is it it is uh, it's afternoon so let's take a walk around to rigor I can't remember what this mount I think that's the guild master. Yeah, I can't remember what uh, is available here for investment. Oh, this is horse merchant. Wrong number. Uh, everyone follow me. I did not give that instruction. Wow, this is so circuitous. I think we went, we came here before, but uh, uh, I can't remember how to get around. Okay, I guess this goes into the palace. Well, we have given this to Turigor. I think this goes to the prison. Yeah. Ouch. Okay. Um. I wish I had better. Oh, okay, here it is. Here's this guy with the carpet. He's got to be the guild master here. Let's just do a quick save here. Save as. Um. Do you have a job for me? Uh, no, we're not. Sorry, I can't do that right now. Okay. Um, I wish to buy land in this town for a productive enterprise. I think we went through this. But I... Bakery? Uh, we, we lose money. No. Uh, how about a tannery? Uh, right now... Uh, right now, your tannery will produce leather at seven for seven thirty-five. That is the top. That, that's higher top line than Nara dinars. While hides need to manufacture that batch will be four thirty-five and labor, labor of fifty. Should guess you. Ooh, we can do that. We can do that, right? Uh, Eight thousand dinars is the cost. And the top line is better than Nara. Nara is something like still in the 600, 683 or something. Uh, Tier is at uh, 648. So the top line is 740, 735 is much better. So if we can feed the hides here, then we make a lot of money. Uh, okay. Uh, no, that's not economic. E economical. Uh, How about grapes? Uh, 5,000 wine, 630 is our top line, and grapes will be 280. Uh, upkeep, I should guess that your profit would be 302 dinars a week. Oh, this is good. This is actually good. We can make 302 a week. I did not realize this. Okay, uh, let us. Uh, so we can do grapes here. How about olives? Olives is not bad too. Uh, the top line is nine ninety. Whoa. Uh, so grapes and olives. How about iron works? No, we barely break even. Uh, the top line, okay. No, that's not economical. Uh, let's leave. Okay. Uh, you know what? Let me cut the episode right here. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you'll join me in the next episode. Bye.